will be learning about math. More specifically, turn, changing a proper fraction to mix number and vice versa, whatever. Now, let's get started. Start off with, this, with mixed numbers. So, basically, it's just actually no Multiplying four by three, so four times three obviously equals twelve, or we can skip count it together four, eight, twelve. See, that's three multiplying it three times. So now that we have that, we keep the we add the 12 in for the and and you have to take the the answer aka 12 to to the other plus so that means 12 plus 12 ah i wonder what that can be oh wait it's 20 oh wait no 24 I was gonna say 22. Okay. Boom. Like this. And we're going to see. 24. I don't know if you can see it properly. I said properly. This is 2 and this is 4. And this is 12. This is 12. As you can see, here is the 12. And I, oh, no, I didn't. Ah, never mind. So now that that is. So we. So we. Have the 3. And then the 24. But we don't have any whole numbers anymore because I don't know I never because I don't know there's no more whole number because that's what improper fraction is and you're turning and you're turning mixed number to improper fraction right now okay now for the thing the lesson that speaks of it all improper fraction to mixed numbers one, I've been practicing a bit, only a bit though. And, I've, and by the way, you probably must be on a holiday break. I I have holiday break too. In fact, it already started. So now you don't want to lose all your progress at school, aka your the things you learned so don't worry there will be more videos to come with learning the next video might be another subject probably what i want i'll check on what i learned then choose one okay and explain it to you anyways let's get right into proper fraction to mix numbers like i said it's time for the time to turn improper fraction to mix numbers. So we're gonna use the the proper fraction we made from the mixed numbers to make it a bit easier for ourselves. You know. So as you remember, it's twenty-four and three. Well, three at the bottom and 
24, 24 at at the top. I know there's like something called denominate denominator and numerator number numerator but way too complicated to say so I'm just gonna call it the top and bottom it's way easier you can call it that if you want so so the obvious answer so the mixed number is obviously the 12 and 12 at the bottom no 12 at the top and 3 at the bottom and 4 as the whole number right well i think you're correct but i never tested it so we're gonna experiment basically let's do this and do that so you're supposed to like divide them basically so 24 divided by 3 you can use long division but i never made a video about it i know how to do it so it's easier i can teach you that too so long division is like this this is the setup so we gotta and the usual stuff for multiplying, dividing them. Eight. The answer is eight for this. The answer to this is eight. And you think you're done, right? That's that's normal division, right? wrong this is long division so what you gotta do is multiply 8 by 3 you already know what how that happens so 3 times 8 that's 24 wait and then the next thing you have to do is subtract is subtract this but here's the problem here you know what this is it's gonna be zero zero right so there's a problem right and you're right it is zero right it is zero but, but that doesn't mean there's no answer you can make the answer i don't know the eight that because that's the whole number that's all you have to do and i guess the mix num the mix number isn't the one isn't this i guess isn't this isn't that i guess okay now it's shine So, 8 is the answer, right? Yes. Yes, it is. But, I feel like I didn't make a good example of the um, long division very well. So, how about I do a part 2, but instead of the, the same lesson, I'm going to go with long division. Yes, long division. I'm going to make long division. Okay. Okay, how about that? Okay. I guess bye-bye then.